Um, well, I'm very proud of her. Um, it's something I've, I would have loved to been able to do. <clears throat> so to see Haley go on and do it is is really fantastic. I I took her out of school to so she would because I thought that this is a career she would be able to succeed in for sure, um, and I don't have any regrets about it. Um, well, I, I really told everyone by the time she was about 12 years old that she continued to progress how she was performing and so forth at that age, that she would play for the West Indies by the time she was 18 years old. And I think she played by the time she was 16 and I always knew that she would have a good career in cricket. Um, I would like to see a bit more consistency from her. Um, she, she knows that. Um, I think her batting T20 is now coming on. When she first started, it was very poor. Um, <laughs> but no, the last you know year and a half or so, her performances have really been coming on. I don't think she's at the standard that she should be as yet. She knows that. Um, hopefully she will continue to progress the way she's going. Her bowling, she has been bowling really well. So I'm happy with her bowling and hope that she can just keep that up. Um, it's an amazing feeling just to see her excel in something she loves to do and have everyone talk about her in such a positive light. It's just a nice feeling to know that that's my flesh and blood. And I'm just very proud of her. Annoying. Fun. <laughs> it was fun. Um, we always used to play cricket in the yard. Almost every evening we used to be in the yard playing cricket. Um, we used to spend a lot of time together, always. So it was it was nice coming up together. <laughs> um, well, you know when she does when she gets a bit reckless when she's batting, I try to tell her, well, you know. You gotta, you gotta calm yourself some more and try not to be as loose at times. But she's been doing fairly well recently and there's not much I could tell her in a, in a negative fashion anymore. So it's good to see that. Some days she can upset me to no end. Some days she can make me the happiest person in the world. And as my dad was saying earlier, it's just a bit more consistency we would like to see. So hopefully it will be more happy than angry or sad from here. But yeah, it's just basically a roller coaster every series. <laughs> um, it was a great feeling. As I said, I sent her a text um, telling her, you know, it brought tears to my eyes. And I was really happy that, you know, to see Haley do that at such a young age. Um, I think she was probably the youngest ever player in the match. Um, at the World Cup and, and I was very, very happy and very proud of her. And the entire innings, I was jumping around the house, mm -hmm. running around screaming, I was happy for Yili. Message her while she was still on the field. Just so the first thing she would see after the game was me telling her how happy I was and how proud of her I was. It was just an amazing feeling to see her do that for the West Indies. Um, it's difficult. Um, for the men, it's, we have a very young team. I know a lot of them really well and everything. And I know the guys that we have now, they are trained. That's the difference between some of the other guys to me and them. They, they are actually, they seem to be trained because they want to play cricket for the West Indies. I don't think it has anything to do with money or anything like that. I think that they really and genu genuinely want to play for West Indies. Um, the women, I just pray, obviously, for Haley and the team to do well. Um, and hopefully, it's all a learning curve for them. I mean, West Indies women, it's not new to them, but it's new to them. Um, so they now have a lot to learn about cricket. And as I always tell her, you know, she has, she's a very good player in everything, but she still has a lot to learn. And I would say that goes for the women. Well, I remember 
when she came out from Australia in 2016. 2016, 2014, sorry. When she was 16 years old. Um, she ran no series to me and told me that Mel Jones just messaged her on, I think it was Twitter, yeah. and asked her about coming up to play for Hobart. And I, I told her, she asked me what I think about it and everything. And I told her, definitely go ahead and play, regardless of the money. Money was not an issue at that point in time. Just go, get the experience. And I always thought it was an opportunity for her to go outside the um, region and play cricket. I just thought it was a really good opportunity. Um, no, it's never, it's never a point. Of, it's never any, anything with jealousy or anything out between Haley and I. When I play cricket here, everyone always saying, "Oh, your sister's better than you," and this and that. Mm -hmm. I just say, "Well, she's better than you too." So, mm -hmm. and I, I, I'm glad to see what she's been doing for the West Indies and for herself. And it's always nice to see your sibling at so. Trust me, she hears it from me every single day of her life. When, when we talk, when we speak about cricket, it has to be to be more consistent. And we all know she has the ability. Um, she just needs to recognize that she still has a lot to learn. I know, you know, sometimes she gets over aggressive um, when she has 50 of us to bat. You don't need to be playing certain shots within the first 10. Bat to 20 overs, see where you're at, and but in, you know in partnerships for yourself basically with another member you know it taught 20 runs at a time just get 20 runs in your next four overs or whatever just pushing the ball around and so forth and I always tell her the way she bats if she can bat 40 overs she will be a hundred or very very close to a hundred for T20 cricket I always tell her you don't you will never win a game within the first three overs unless you're the bowling team and you get quick wickets but the batting team, just like what they did in the World Cup, they batted three of us for nine runs, and we're still able to get the 149. Um, once you get in, and you're a good player, you will find it easily to you will find it very easy to score runs. And you know, if you give yourself a chance, you will you will do well. I think from the jump, I always had very good support from my family. Um, just growing up, like I said in one of my previous interviews, I was talking about how I got into cricket. And it was a matter of simply my brother and my dad being outside playing and I went outside with them one day um, until my dad put me into a club here, Wanderers Cricket Club. And I stayed there for probably about uh, three years, went into secondary school and played then every age, um, every age group cricket under 13, under 15, under 19 cricket and all through playing, you know, like my dad was saying, from the time I was about 12 years old, they supported me and they believed in me and thought that I would make it to West Indies. And I would probably say from the time I was about 10, that's what I wanted to do. Um, and I was pretty sure on it from such an early age. Um, and when the opportunity came when I was 16, I, th I think I was really happy when my parents both supported me to be able to leave school at the time and then uh, pursue my dreams and my career. <laughs>